Let's get ready for the In word fact, of God. Tell my mate, say we're saying issues. I'll let her know. Anna, me ye provoke me bufu. Now I was provoked on the day I was informed that another communique concerning the communication of prophecy has been issued by the police service. First, now I'm in a president. Are you too close now? Come back on, Marco Kachin and say, unstoppable dampari. Now, if it were some time ago when I had a certain rapport with the president of Ghana, I would have gone to him to say to him to caution Dampare about his communiques on prophecies. Mimawa Kwaba Eba Skeleton Man TV. So Skeleton Man TV and a wushi. So when your first time or any of modia subscribe. Me a notification is so send you any time bia ye DVD betum no won't soon sabe can when ye be a share u should ya comment if I chile wa jen efe video no huwe bisi ya like video no ne share share emu bi anso enye bin share me da si be bre e bisi ya reverend uwusu bempa reverend uwusu bempa e bisi ya fo wa tu challenge ama igp dan pare e bisi ya fo na me se challenge ben ana wa tu amano ni nina ane se o se igp dan pare last year Afino ebe kwa yuye na anu odi lete biye den eba out se won pesu ope hun se o sofu obiya e ye den e she enkom biya e de fear and panic ebe den ebe ba o manu no o sofu bi eko she sa ankom na abusu ya fuwa enye o diniti ebe den ebe ji atrema yebe arreste no na afin su no IGP dan pare o sa di lete ni bi ma den aba out se mo sofu bia en ko she nkomo a e de fear and panic e be den e be ba na se wo ko she a aban be den aban sa e be kan eno abusuafo eno ana reverend owusu bempa wa ba out a o si o true challenge no aye den ama IGP dan pare because e mre bia e twa mu a na e ye NDC aban and the war a bermuno or no reverend who's been pano a shen combe bre and my incomely be crack or bar say a bayer no a tesso a year John Dramani Mahama na bino on bedding on belusu elections and na ye comuno na president John Dramani Mahama o belusu ni position or say some common or coshe ye no any comfrobia neck a cahono a police for cry a day a bar honum say. Omu invite no su omra headquarters. No ko headquarters no. Anna John Dramani Mahama. Esuma. Chief of Staffa. No o honum e ye. Honorable Julius Debra. Se. Omra headquarters wano. No me kantire police for su omu nyai. Reverend Owusu Bempa. O si ampe ni ampa. Omu jaye no. Anna o she enkom she no su o she she ye noa. Emma MPP for any J pa Emma Nanadu Neni J pa No ma ba bemu no ma ko yi IGP ya IGP ni se one pesu ben who se ye shen kom it you reverend usu ben passe or catch renu se on to me country a soft one omu preachi ni se mo moon preachi on to me country a soft one omu tichi ni se mo moon tichi so ko kase mo moon yesa e di asem nebe den ebe pa it is ye wa sofwa omu preachi and ye wa a sofwa omu tichia sa anso ni ye wa a sofwa omu shen kom it wa no 31st si obe shen kom ti IGP opa ome eden ome arrestinu se o arrestinu hune mua o non so obe arrestinu hun hun mu inti ye busu ya reven o usu bempa wa de IGP dan pare mu mi yonko ni yonko fye video no Yamisha Osofu Kwame Amu, Yamisha Osofu Kwame Amu, and may God bless Yamo you, Yamo 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 kindly put your hands together, clap your hands for them. And uh, my theme now is uh, build your altar. The theme for this morning's message is build your altar. So we see building your altar build your altar now before i minute. before i proceed i commence preaching let me say this 
a couple of minutes. Uh, now, some years ago, God said something to us a political party concerning a certain political party. And I, I went everywhere and declared what God has said to me about that political party on TV, on radio, at church. And, and I was very direct about that party which was going to be victorious in the election of that year. At that time, the party in power was NDC. Now, ex president John Dramani Mama and Otia Kunyanusu. And it was the ex president John Dramani Mahama who was the incumbent president. Now, there was nothing amusing about any of the prophecies which came concerning the president at that time. Now, but at the fear and panic, at all, Mahamasu, ex president, any NDC. All the things which I said. Fear and panic. Because your castle will be lose election, and your fear and panic. Your castle will be president. Now, what can you do? You may have to say, your fear and panic. Now, as you saw, ex president, when I'm a IGP, I'm a host of a term, and I'm a castle of defobia. Mention come on, a cause of fear and panic. Even a process for an audio move by chair, me cry. Osuma, Julius Debra, so me can't show me so many ame. Eno mu jame. Sadia me cannot imagine. Huh? E tichira di achi me achi me achi me ah. E ti after thirty first we di. Dam paru obe chime. O chime ame sume chine pa. Now. This time the Osofu. This time the yeah yeah ne senior. O mudi Rambo Saba Hanu. Ah. Now, in that time. Uh, now, in that time, in that time, all the things I said brought joy, ecstasy, excitement to the party in opposition and their and their flag bearer. Everything I said brought fear and panic upon the president of the time. There is nothing which will cause fear and panic to a president who is also content contending an impending election and say to him that he's going to lose his that election in spite of the investment he has made for winning the election but he didn't cause anybody to cause my arrest and even when the police came or invited me to the the the, the, the police headquarters he sent the chief of staff at the time mr julius um, deborah to come there at the time but tonight I am going to prophesy and I'm going to be very direct with the prophecy. And this time, we are not going to take certain things as they were or they used to be anymore. It is said, your country, Papa Nicholas Duncan William, Samuel Pritchi. It is said, your country, Dr. Manson Tabel, Samuel Tichi. So, a binum Pritchi, binum Tichi, binum Sushankom. Yeah, the Annan Commission. Untimin Kayanuntum, a deep four more Ghana, how much you have a voice. Oh no, we are IGP or Ghana. Yes, we are IGP spiritual. Yeah, yeah, we shall come. We shall, shall, and we must shall come in the name of the Lord. Who do you want to be? My God. Hallelujah. After you enter your meeting, now let's get ready. Let's get ready for the word of God. In fact, tell me, me tell you, I was saying issues. I let you know. Now, I was provoked on the day I was informed that another communique concerning the communication of prophecy has been issued by the police service. First, now, I'm a president. Are you too close now? Come on, I'm going to catch and say, unstoppable dampery. Now, if it were some time ago when I had a certain rapport with the president of Ghana, I would have gone to him to say to him to caution dampare about his communiques on prophecies now he 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 dares not say to the 
the, the, the chief priest of a tomb for not to not to speak about spiritual matters or prophesy. But this morning I want to have a conversation with you. Uh, now I do not know how to describe what I'm about to do, whether it is properly described as a preaching, but but what I would I'd rather like to say is to um, say to you that what I'm saying is God speaking to you. So just listen. So on building altar. Building an altar. Uh, important. It's an important thing. In the coming year, tough times are, are going to come. And unti, so I'm build the altar and as so, a Christian. As a Christian, if you do not build an altar, in fact, calamity the, the calamities which will be unleashed upon the earth, and particularly Ghana, if you fail to build your altar. You will be affected. I'm, I'm going to take my time to deliver the message. Now, if I ever told you that the remaining years or the span of life on earth will be joyful, will be good, will be um, um, milk and honey, I will be telling you a blatant lie. But I must make you aware that harder times are ahead of us. So that you can prepare yourself. So that you can prepare yourself. So that when the storms come, wind and a bower, and the wind is boisterous, and I'm so what can't see and wants a munti because you have foreknowledge, over prepare yourself well. Now, what me face you will prepare yourself well so that you can face the storm now and take you by surprise, so that you will not be taken by surprise now. Now, those this end time, who in this end time can survive are those who will build their altar. Now, I am going to speak to a point that you're going to, where you're going to have clarity in your mind. Now, when we speak of altar, so study Bible. When you study the Bible, there were certain people who had relationships with God that built altars. And it is before the altar where they stand to establish communication with God. So they stand before the altar and offer sacrifices unto God. Abraham built an altar. Abraham built his altar. Noah the same thing. Noah also built his altar. In fact, Jacob, David, Jacob, David, and the people of God that established Job, a relationship with God, like Solomon. Enoch. Job, Solomon. In fact, no more altars. In fact, these personalities had altars. Ah, omuye sacrifices. On which they offered their sacrifices. It is on that altar they give, they offer something to God. And it was on that altar they made requests from God. Now, so many times, you no. Know, and many times the, the altar was the point of convergence where God met 
the people. Moses so Moses the altar. Elijah the same thing. Altar. Elijah built an altar. So when you say scripture, we are not saying what kind of Bible. Are. Now, if you are an ardent reader of the Bible, or if you know the scripture, Bible says not Abraham. The Bible said the Bible said Abraham stood before his altar offering sacrifices unto Elohim. After he offered the, the sacrifice unto God, he fell into a deep sleep. And God spoke to him. And so what every time build the altar that person who built an altar a sacrifice or altar on which he would render sacrifices in the time of the person's sacrifices God reveals himself to the offerer of the sacrifice and God speaks to him now after the flood ah, Noah and any family a survival yeah. when Noah and his family had survived the flood Bible said Noah a build the altar the Bible said Noah built an altar and Noah yeah, sacrifices and he offered sacrifices he sacrificed animals and then God spoke to Noah and said unto him for your sake no more would I destroy the earth with water. Now, my mouth sign. And I'm gonna give you a sign. A rainbow. And it was a rainbow. Anytime you have a rainbow. So anytime you see this rainbow, remember and get to know that the wrath I I developed and it destroy me in my heart to which for which i destroyed mankind through, through floods me yes i no more will i do that well obisha and the reverend who should be in power and i'm attending can we do or see igp damper or yeah or bed in open money show down who are resting on one more or no so be arrested because so we are igp physical or no so we igp hey yes Show down no the beko akusi na msi the beko akusi bi ansu no ye de pebro unti se we your first time one any abo modian subscribe me a notification so click all ni se ni video bi a ye de betumu no won so sabekan won ye bi a share me dasi bebre